I'm Scott Owl Miller. It is the 23rd of July, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua, and today we're filming at Azul Dario, the festival in downtown Leon. So we're going to go there right after the bump. One of the most important festivals here in Leon is Azul Dario. Ruben Dario is the city's most famous son and the most important literary figure from Nicaragua and possibly from all of the Latin world. He's very much uh, similar to a Shakespeare in the English world, uh, primarily a poet. He was actually born in Laborio. For those who follow my show, you know that I lived in Laborio just behind the home of Ruben Dario, his birthplace, last year. And uh, so that museum is located there. That is a really big thing. And every year, Leon holds a very large festival that we are here at to honor Ruben Dario. And they celebrate through music and they put on uh, shows based on his works. And they have all the different cities and municipalities in the departmental Leon and a few from farther afield, like Madagalpa, come out and put on uh, these, these displays that you can see throughout the festival uh, showing his work. So it's it's a little bit, it's interesting. It's kind of like school projects uh, where like you go to like a science fair in a, in a high school and everyone has their little display tables out uh, with their displays of their, their, you know, whatever. And if you did a literary fair, it would be like that. So this is like a na national, uh, nation, nationwide or national uh, literary fair display that they put on every year. And it's kind of a competition to show who can put on the coolest display of uh, the heritage from their area combined with Ruben Dario. So the big thing to do here is to come out and walk through. There's, there's lots of vendors set up, so there's all kinds of food. There's a lot of noise in the background. It's hard to get away because they have events going on all the time. There is a puppet show going on. There's always concerts. There's just there's family events all day. Uh, so this is a bit of literature and a lot of artwork is is uh, brought out and put on display as well. So it's a it's a real cultural opportunity to come out and just see a bit of the heritage, um, but a more recent heritage here in Leon and in Nicaragua. And of course, like you would get at any festival, and you see this everywhere in the country, whether it's the Madagalpa Corn Festival or it's the Leon Literary Festival, you have vendors from all over the country show up, and so it's an opportunity to come out and go shopping. Uh, you have all the regular ones, which I'll show here behind me. These guys are in the park all the time. So you can come out and get clothes and hats and food and that kind of stuff. But the, the artisans from all over the country start to come out uh, anytime there's a festival like this. And so it's a big thing to come and walk around and just see what's being made and it could be pottery, it could be leather works, it could be artwork, it could be jewelry, all kinds of things. And uh, so, so coming out and shopping, it's a big thing. And if you're a tourist or just looking for something to do uh, when you're in Nicaragua, these kind of events are really good as an opportunity to get uh, souvenirs because these are not meant for tourists. These are meant for Nicaraguans who don't only get to shop at these things once in a while. And so when you do that, you, you get really good prices and very authentic things. These are things that Nicaraguans would be buying most of the time. So, uh, and a lot of, you know, it could be very simple things like honey or, you know, things you would buy every day, but this is a chance to get them direct from the farmer. So it's a little bit like a roving farmer's market, but they're not selling fruit and vegetables, of course. Uh, but so that, that's a big activity to do when you're coming out to these events. The biggest thing is really that it's a giant social event. This is an opportunity for everyone to come out, gather in Central Park and see and be seen. It's really just a lot of fun and uh, a big community gathering activity. There's also a lot of, like we showed the, the little uh, vignettes, where other communities around the area, mostly from around Departmento Leon, but also from further afield, like these, um, uh, you know, come in and get involved as well. So it serves as an opportunity to encourage uh, a broader Nicaraguan interaction. And so people from El Sauce in that example, or Achuapa in this example, uh, right, come and participate in this event, um, even if it's just, you know, putting in a little display, bringing some food, maybe being a vendor, watching some of the shows. And then the big thing, so, so some of that is kind of like an aside, and it's a little bit like a fair, uh, you know, like a literary fair, um, if, if you were thinking of it from like a North American perspective. And then here, this is like the main stage in Central Park. 
it is just one event after another all day long. Now you can see the crowd here is not enormous, but there is a good number of people watching and this is a, a puppet show, right? So that this is how many people are there in the middle of the afternoon for a puppet show. And, and there's all these art displays uh, that are obviously there all the time. These are sawdust art displays, for example. So there's all these things people mill about and they look at the art and they look at the, the vignettes and they, they visit the different things. But a lot of people take the time to uh, go and see all these different presentations that are put on. So puppet shows, concerts, ballets, you name it, all kinds of stuff. And now this is middle of the afternoon, like I said. So this is the kind of the downtime. Nicaraguans don't tend to do um, a bunch in the afternoon. This is a living art display. This was very cool. I'm not sure what prompted this, but everyone's you know just standing really still and doing this it was it's pretty neat and then they walked around later and then someone else came and did this like it, it's just a thing that they had going on uh very interesting um at night uh costa azul was playing which is huge possibly the biggest band in the country uh and they came out and and put on this enormous show which is really fantastic because it's completely free so this is the government pays to put on one of the biggest concerts of the year uh completely free for the citizens and of course people come from all over the country to see that and then they come and see this literary fair while they're there so it generates tourism for the city uh and it also helps get um kind of a a cultural knowledge out to the rest of the country so that people uh, have a better understanding of what it means to be from Leon, of what it means to be a part of the Ruben Dario literary tradition, uh, those sorts of things. And so it's it's a very important event, and I think it's well organized to actually encourage that um, in a very reasonable way. There's another one of those art exhibits, and that is Ruben Dario, the effigy behind him, or the caricature, I guess, is what it is. And of course, as with all, all Nicaraguan events, right, there's no way that you're going to have an event like this. This is us walking back through uh, all those little little presentations. You can see this is kind of the main thoroughfare. Uh, we're walking away from the main stage. That giant sign that you see up there is the main entrance to the entire thing. But it goes way off. Like where we were filming the people, uh, so the vendors, that was off to the right by quite some ways. If you go to the left here, it's less vendors and it's more uh, services. So there's uh, ambulance services, fire department, uh, different groups from around the country have representatives there. Uh, so it's a chance to just get information out about their departments or their services, that kind of stuff. Um, so any event like this, absolutely any, there is going to be a parade or many parades. Uh, and this one is no different. In many cases, there's also a pageant. Uh, so this is actually, those are the people who are doing, we saw them a couple times doing that living art thing. They're now up here taking pictures with people on, on these stilts. It's all very strange. Uh, so this main thoroughfare here turns into the parade way uh, in just, just a little bit. We were came out here, we got a juice at Hugoso, and just in case if you watch my show a lot, that, that juice place that's just off to the left that we just showed uh, is where we order from all the time. We either go there or have it delivered. It is fantastic. All right, these are the pageant girls. These are actually, uh, instead of like Miss Leon or whatever, they are the muses of Ruben Dario is what the pageant is for. So kind of interesting that that's the, they, they really went for it that way. And this, they, they begin the parade. So all the parade is behind them and they come from around the city and come to the main event area. So this is them entering as the parade comes to an end and all of these groups representing different towns. So these are different like dance troops and musical groups and, and whatever from different municipalities around the country uh, are participating in this parade. And everyone's dressed up in a literary uh, suggestive outfit, right? So it's like uh, the books they're carried, like that girl there was just carrying a blue book. That is his book, Azul, which is what the, the pageant is named after. So they actually carry that book as, as part of the, the thing. The Higantonis, of course, make an appearance everywhere. Like you never get away from those. There's not a lot of them, but the, some always show up. So here is the Ballet Folklorico with uh, not the big national one. This is a group of kids 
uh, from one of the nearby municipalities and uh, they're all dressed up in the traditional costumes. It was very hard to film this because a lot of people go along with the parade and kind of knock you over and, and like you can see them everywhere. I tried not to film all the non-parade people who were just walking with it but they're hard to escape. So it was a nice parade, not a very big one. Uh, you don't need a ton, uh, but it was. It, it's. I like it better than a lot of parades because there's this really strong theming. So tons of traditional costumes and a bit more organized, and uh, it was it was well done and it was entertaining. So we had a really nice time um, coming out to to check out the whole event, and I'm glad that we did it. I recommend if you're gonna be in the area and this is going on. It's worth stopping in. Don't plan a lot of time. Look at the events, uh, and we we are making sure like all of these events were up on Nika Roomba. Uh, they always uh, the Department of Tourism in tour posts uh, these pictures on their mostly on their Twitter feed, but we try to get them on now. Uh, Nika Roomba has them, and Nika Roomba is trying to get them out to Nika Loro and Nika Graham. So there's always a way, no matter how you're interacting with the, these services, that there's ways to find this. Uh, but they they'll put out these pictures that have all the schedule of all the events, which concerts, which puppet shows, which presentations, when the parade is, all that stuff is on there. So you can pick things that are interesting for you. You probably don't want to spend a bunch of time, but you can spend some and enjoy yourself and uh, do something a bit different. Thanks for joining us. Like and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Miller. And as always, uh, if you need information, shoot us an email, like and subscribe, share with your friends, post on social media, and I will see all of you tomorrow. Hola.